Peace, peace, family. Peace, love, and divine light to everybody out there. Hope everybody can hear me. I'm not sitting in my car today. I decided to be out in nature today. And I know um, I'm a little bit louder in the car, so I hope everybody can hear me today. Uh, how's everybody's magical day going today? I'm feeling really, really good. Energy's really high. Um. Ah, just been just been very aware, just been very aware of uh my surroundings and my experience and uh my network and uh this had wanted to come out and share some things with you guys today. Can everybody hear me first off? Um Am I loud and clear for everybody? I'm just gonna kinda just dive on in because I don't know how long my phone has. But um so uh a couple of things I wanna speak about. Uh First off, I want to say uh, we are all blessed right now to be able to be in this now present moment um, in life, this now present moment, because uh, <clears throat> we're all lighthouses, and we're all starting to wake up, you know, we're all starting to wake up to our reality, because we're all conscious, we're breathing, we're conscious, but we're starting to wake up more into our realities and what's around us and what this this reality to you really is and so by doing so you trickle out and you awake people up around the world that you don't even know because we're all connected as one being um just had an ant crawling on me but um, we're all connected um and uh you know as one being so as you wake up and you rise, it echoes out to people all around the world. So right now we have a lot of people um, becoming aware of consciousness, like not even really consciousness. I don't like to say that people are conscious, but we are all conscious. So you know, just people waking up to knowing that they can control, uh, control their own reality. A lot of people right now are kind of just clinging out to one and like. Somebody to save them from, you know, what they're what they're becoming aware of. Because right now, this type of energy will operate out of the fifth dimension, ninth dimension. You see, the thing is with these dimensions, they're right there around you all, every day, all day, every day. It's just it's just like a frequency. It's just like a a, a wave that you that that you tune into, um, and you just view things differently. So, anyway, um, and so people's minds is being like busted wide open, like truth is just like bam in they face and so for some people you know waking up to this can be a little bit scary and um you know they, some some people don't have people to talk to about this you know what i'm saying like they don't have anybody to talk to you know their family um you know thinks that they're crazy and you know all this kind of stuff and um so they look for you know saviors not even realizing that the savior is what's the, inside of you Okay, so my speaker died. So, um, you know, the, the Savior is inside of you. So, you know, what we have to always remind ourselves is that the way we think and who we associate with is kind of how our reality is going to play out. So, um, you know, I know it's easier said than done, but really sitting back and really being the observer of your life, you know, um, one thing that I learned when I was in my um, on my trip in Puerto Rico is the processing process, the processing process, where instead of popping off or you know taking um, taking a situation or, um, that I might have been in or something that may have occurred, instead of you know just uh, acting upon whatever that may be, you sit back and you process and you ask yourself, you know, where is this coming from? Is this coming from me? Why am I feeling like this? Why did this make me feel offensive? So you have to really sit down and go and tap into yourself. Because the more you do that, the more you save yourself. Nobody outside of you can kind of do that. Now, we do work on a collective level because as you heal yourself, you heal those around you, your circle, because you attract what you are. So the more you heal yourself, the more you attract beings that's on that same journey as you are as doing the work. Now, if you're not doing the work, you're going to be attracted to people who ain't doing the work. And so um, 
And so when I speak of, when you're going through this uh, sit down and process um, uh, little practice that I like to call it, you have to ask yourself who and where in my, in my whole beingness is this coming from? Because we are a being in different fractals of many different beings. You know what I'm saying? You got to you gotta remember you're not just who you think you are, just that one being. You come in many different aspects. We have, <clears throat> you know, we have the inner whore that we don't like to show sometimes. You know, we have the, we have sometimes the wounded child. We have, you know, just, you know, you have your inner child. You have the person that, you know, maybe it might be a part of you that's really greedy. Like, we come in different aspects. You may be real chill, mellow, namaste, let's, you know, meditate all day. And then you might be like, let's turn up a little bit. You know, everything is done with balance. You can't be walking around here all namaste all day because you're not being true. Everything is in balance. So um, I say all of this to say, you know, honor your aspects, you know. Um, show love to them. Don't don't shine. Like for example, I have um aspect where I can sometimes you know because we're all working on things. So I have um, an aspect of me that sometimes just really likes to eat. Like just because like I love to cook. I love to cook for people. Um, and sometimes the food just be so good to me. I'm like, let me go get some more. Let me go get some more. And it's not even that I'm really hungry. And so that part of me, I characterize that entity because it's an entity, it's a type of energy that's a part of me, um, is Abigail. And so instead of judging myself from what's going on, because there's no need to judge yourself because it has already happened. So there's no need to point fingers and judge anything because it's already done. So what you have to do is you have to look for that that now moment in and change the now moment scenario and change the energy energy in that scenario. So, you know, what I do is just kind of speak to that part of me because the more you harmonize your sales, your sales, you know, the more you harmonize and work together as one with all of your aspects, um, you know, um, you harmonize within, you become whole. So instead of criticizing that part of me, I just let that, hey, look, I know you love to cook. I love, I know you do. That's cool. But um, you don't have to continue to, um, you know, you can eat what you want to eat, but you don't have to just eat just because it's there and it's good, you know, because, you know, the human body has to consume food. So sometimes we can get addicted to food just because of, you know, the taste. We just want to scarf it down. We want to eat it. So I can, uh, um, you know, that's something that I've been noticing and I have like an inner child that that when she don't get her way, like I automatically snap out and like stomp my feet and like be in my feelings. And so sometimes we're not aware of it. We're not aware of these things. And so I just been observing, you know, many different actions that come out in my reality. And I just noticed, I'm like, I'm sitting here looking, acting like a little child because you have to understand that the child is still you. You haven't went anywhere. It's still you. You're still five and six and seven year old you. You know, you haven't you haven't went anywhere. And so, um, so yeah, so just, you know, really just um a good movie to watch is this movie called Split. It's about this guy who had like twenty three personalities, what most people would call it. But really it what it really is is this his his soul is in fractals. When you go through what people would call a traumatic experience, um, your soul breaks in fractals. You break down. You create false identities. Um, um, and so, you know, by doing that, uh, there's certain aspects of you that want certain things. So, um, you know, just really observing yourself and just seeing, you know, who and what and where is this is this coming from and why am I, um, you know, feeling this way and you know, and just loving all of yourself. You know, even this the parts of you that you classify as bad because as we know there's there's no good there's no bad it it just is everything is how it is and so um I like to also bring that into you know your cells you know we're we are all cells in a big organism you know I mean we're in like a big living entity we're all together as one and so that's why when we all work together we all come online like you know we all come on this network we all start tuning into this frequency 
and we all work together to, to harmonize with this planet because this planet is going to harmonize with or without you. If you're not in harmony, that's, you know, you're not going to be able to be in harmony. So um, the same thing works with your, your cells inside of your body, you know. Um, none of this is really real, you know. This vessel that you're in is a vessel. It's a uh, it's a vehicle. It's uh, you, you can control it, though. It, it's just like, you know, being in a car. You can kind of, you know, the car is kind of made, but, you know, some of the things you can control and some of the things you can't control in the car. But you can, when you control and program your uh, cells, you basically – can cure yourself you basically can activate the dna that's not that's not popping so you think it's not popping but it did but it is um our body is mostly made of um you know water and um sound and frequency is 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 everything and so if you just speak to your cells your cells resonates with the uh with the uh sound the sound you know it can your cells communicate with, with each other, so it definitely picks up on sound. So just harmonizing and speaking to your cells and visualizing, actually visualizing, because you create everything. Like if next time you feel sick or, you know, you feel like you've had a headache or you feel like nauseous or something like that, just sit back and, you know, meditate and breathe and, you know, just visualize yourself not feeling that way. And I guarantee that you're not going to feel that way anymore because you're not feeding the energy. The more you feed things energy, the more it creates into your reality. And so if you're going to focus on some things, focus on some positive things, you know, focus on, you know, meditating and communicating with your cells and you telling your cells what to do. Um, you speaking to your organs. Um, and so, you know, um, um, so yeah, that's I just wanted to kind of just put that out there about the cells to just, you know, let you know that don't forget your power. You know, this is your movie. You're the director. Anybody that you encounter in your life is who you signed up to be on your screenplay. You told, you know, but before you came here, your soul aligned with that being. And you told that being to play whatever character they are playing in your life. So, you know, never forget your power within. And so um, I like to also bring that into, like, karmic loops and cycles. Um, we have them every, every day we go through these cycles, these patterns. Sometimes we acknowledge them. Sometimes we don't want to acknowledge them. Sometimes we're not even aware of them. And so what happens is we just keep reincarnating here and we just keep, you know, doing the same cycles of things. And so what I mean by that is, uh, for example, I'll give a, um, you know, an example of my experience, my life. Um, can everybody hear me? Uh, okay, so, um, so, for example, like, I kept repeating relationships where, first off, I was in a state where I wasn't loving myself. Like, I was, I was not loving myself. Um, and so, it, it was what it was. That's where it was. It was no good or no bad. That's where I was at that time. And so, um. You know, by doing that, I kept attracting certain habits. I kept attracting certain partners. I kept attracting certain situations. And so one day, you know, I just sat back and I watched it. Like, I watched my behavior. Like, I was like, dang, norm like, I was in my last relationship. I was like, dang, normally I would be popping off at X, Y, Z. But I came into awareness that, oh, snap, you're doing this right now in another timeline. You've done this before. But before you did pop off, you failed the mission. You know, you didn't learn the lesson. You did pop off and, and whatnot. And so I was, like, able to um, be able to get out that karmic loop and leave that situation in peace instead of holding grudges over it, you know, releasing that soul contract, um, you know, to, you know, harmonize everything. So that was just my experience of being on a karmic loop. Of course, there's other things that we're always in a karmic loop with, you know, just patterns, things you can't stop doing. You know, you just keep attracting the same situations and you can't really figure out why. Well, you know, if it's, if you are attracting the problems, then the, the you have to go within. It must be coming from you. It's always going to come from you if you're attracting anything because we're all mirrors and reflections of each other. So 
you know, what is your karmic loop? What is something that you know you came here to learn? Some people are people pleasers. Some people, um, some beings will, you know, come out and just only please other people. You know, they'll just please them, please them, please them. They'll be tired and, you know, not thinking about themselves or maybe sometimes their families. And they'll just go out to please people. I don't know what it is behind it, but some people just come out and please. And that's something, you know, a cycle sometimes they have to break, you know. You know, some people come here and they don't connect with their family. Um, and they don't, and they don't do it. And so they got to come back here and do it again. So, you know, just certain things, just be aware of everything in your reality. Be aware of everything of your reality, because everything is a communication with yourself, the animals, the animals, that's you. And so when you see certain animals come at certain times, you're having a communication with yourself. Like right now you're talking to yourself. Everything is all you. So, um, you know, just become very observant of, um, you know, the patterns in your life, the cycles, because everything runs in cycles and patterns um, in your life. So just, you know, really paying attention and just really not taking this life so serious. Like, I, I can't stress it enough. I know I talk about it a lot in my videos, um, but, you know, it's, it's a paradigm shift. Like, we, we're living in a new state of consciousness. The fifth dimension is merely a, a state of consciousness. It's merely a a frequency like on a radio um like you know when you try to pick up frequencies on the radio and you can't like tune into some of them if your vibration is not at a set level you're not going to be able to tune into these six certain frequencies that you call dimensions see i don't see past lives of anything being in the past i see it right now it's happening right now it's happening on dimensions that you can't even see but your cells are fractaled out in many different dimensions so um so just really uh just really in just really healing when you heal yourself you have to heal all of yourselves you know you have to heal yourselves on on different unseen dimensions that you can't even really grasp right now you know you have to release stuff in your in your ancestry line not even just in this physical existence but other existences that's playing out right now you know you are like a scientist out in many different dimensions collecting data and expanding and learning and trying to get yourselves out of this karmic will of just, um, you know, repetition and stuff. So, um, you know, just just pay attention to the patterns. You know, you it's, it's really important to pay attention to the patterns in your life because you'll be amazed at how many things you can, like, discover. You're your own inner guru. You know, it's all good for us to come together and help each other, you know, bring aha and bring clarity, you know, into our sisters and our brothers' lives. But, you know, you have to do the work because the real work is going to come when you go inside because nobody knows you like you know you, you know. So, you know, do the work. There's no stop looking for people to tell you what to do, what to dress, what to wear, what to eat, you know, because essentially you get to a level where none of this food stuff, this organic GMO, like all this. If you're all in everything, you're all and you're everything. If you are all and you are everything, how can anything really destroy you? You know what I'm saying? If you create this reality, if you speak what you want to speak into this reality and you bless your words, when your words come out your mouth, your words are spells. You can bless whatever you want to bless with your words. So if you if you go into the store and you buying a tomato that's not all, all, all organic, you trying to tell me that you're not powerful enough to bless that tomato to whatever you want it to be. You're not ble you know, you're not strong enough to enchant that. This is all none of this is really mad you know, really matters. Like your physical vessel is what really needs the, the the food substance. And then to another extent you don't even really need that, you know. But um, you know, if you're all of these things Nothing can really affect you. But when you feed into these things and you feed into this stuff and you put energy into it and you think if you eat this, that, and that, and you do this, that, and that. I mean, of course, there's balance to everything. Don't get me wrong. This is just my perspective. Um, but, um, you know, whatever you feed energy to, it's going to be as it is because everything is agreed upon. We stop at a stop sign only because we all agree that we have to stop at the stop sign. If we all say, you know what, right now, we ain't stopping at no motherfucking stop sign. Ain't nothing going to happen. So, you know, sometimes you just got to really start really um, 
you know, just, I don't know, sometimes just, you know, looking at it at many different variables, you know. Also, for one thing, you know, you have to also think about it, like everything that we breathe, touch, and everything has bacteria, has chemicals, it's toxic, you know. We just sitting outside breathing, you know, me breathing right now, I'm pretty sure there's stuff in the air, but this is stuff that I can't control right now. So I'm not going to stress about it and pour all of my energy into like, you know, it's Kim's trails outside and I got to do this and I got to protect myself from this. And this happens like you just stay in a state of fear. You always stay in a state of survival. And, you know, there's there's a there's a difference between being aware of what you put in your body and in a state of like being like a preachy type of like don't do this don't do that don't do this don't do that man you are infinite you come here to expand and to um experience so all i'm saying is you know expand experience you know but don't don't have fear about you know what happens sometimes you're supposed to you know it takes you for example a little kid riding a bike you know the mother says you know put a helmet on he don't put no helmet on he keeps riding that bike and he hit his head i bet you he not gonna not wear a helmet again, you know, some things you are here to experience. Another thing about, you know, sometimes we so caught up into other people's life and what other people doing that we waste our time and energy. We get all wind up and we get sad about all these people going missing and people, you know, dying on here, dying on there. I'm not saying don't have no compassion. All I'm saying is that some people come here to experience certain things. You have to you know, see it in many different variables instead of, you know, kind of being sad about it because what's done is done. You can't change it. So, you know, just trying to see it as, you know, maybe that person came to this earth to experience X, Y, Z instead of automatically, you know, putting one perspective on it and getting all macho and mad and upset and sad and be like, wow, all our black people dying and all this. Like, you got to get out of that, that, that paradigm. Like, you create your hell, like, you know, you create your reality. If you think America is this and that and all of this type of stuff, we keep thinking like this, it's going to keep being it. But the the moment you start doing your own stuff and start fucking with you and, and start messing with people that do their own stuff, we all collaboratively will change things. So, yeah. I just had to get all of that out. I just been, you know, just really been, you know, just observing things, just seeing things, seeing how people are so, you know, they just awakening. They stuff is getting blow wide open and they just in a state of kind of like not knowing what to do. Just kind of like reaching out to people. But um, I don't want to be nobody's teacher. I just want to be able to like just inspire people to be able to just go inside of themselves and, you know, just do the work and, yeah, pretty much. But yeah, I talked a little bit about the karmic loops and, you know, the cycles and, you know, just tapping within and just using your power and just loving all yourselves and really just breaking the labels, y'all. I mean, I, I like I said, I, re- I repeat this a lot in my videos, but, um, you know, just really breaking these labels because anytime you bind yourself to one thing, you become that one thing. So you can't go around saying you're all of these wonderful things but categorize yourself as just being a male or a female you're everything you're the the cat you're the dog you're you're everything you can't be confined as one thing and then another thing you have to realize is that these words some of these words that we use are made up people made them up people agreed you agree to what up means you agree to what down means why can't what we describe what up be something called rock you know what i'm saying so you know i know that's a like i tried to break it down simple but it's just like you know everything's agreement so um you know don't take this so seriously because you are everything you are a being operating in a vessel okay you're a being you're no woman no man you know you're just an energy operating in a vessel so you know don't don't limit yourself you know really just just experience experience things so um oh one thing i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna say and then i'm gonna wrap it up because i had to get this off my chest agreements 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 we often just make agreements without even honoring ourselves you know we just somebody be like hey you want to go to the arts festival next tuesday you be like all right cool i want to go i want to go 
you want to go in that now moment because we operate in a now moment. But next Tuesday is next Tuesday. And so what happens is I would always say give yourself a grace period before you do agreement. It's because because what happens is sometimes we often we keep making agreements with people and then we don't honor those agreements and then we look dishonorable or we come off as you not not being trustworthy, trustworthy because we're not really being trustworthy to ourselves by just honoring agreements, you know, and also honor agreements when you honor agreements with yourself, you may tell yourself, OK, tomorrow I'm going to um, paint. I got, I'm going to paint all the pictures of the shockers tomorrow. In that now moment, that's what you feel like, but you plan it for tomorrow. So when t- the next day come, you don't really feel like doing it, but you feel like I got to honor that agreement. I told myself I was going to do it, so I, I, ha- I have to do it. You don't have to do anything. So, you know, just watching the agreements that you um, that you make um, within yourself and, uh, you know, people around you because we're always agreeing upon things, and sometimes we don't even want to, you know, we want to do it. So um, I love everybody out there. I just really wanted to come. You know, sometimes I feel like Facebook Live can be like my little walking journal, especially when, um, you know, all the information is just flowing through. So I really thank each and every uh, theme that came out, uh, chimed into the live theme, Steve. I hope everybody's day today is blessed and it's filled with love. I hope everybody today just opens their heart to any type of, you know, guilt, any type of fear, any type of shame, any type of negativity that you may feel in your heart right now. I just, you know, I just, I hope that you leave with this day. I send love and light to you and your family. And I'm just hoping that love and abundance just pours down to your reality. You know, keep hope alive. Faith hope. I think faith and hope is definitely the key to strive for. So, you know, just keep that in your life and know that, you know, you are the um, controller of your reality. Uh, Peace and blessings to everybody out there and take care.